we're going to talk about preparing our hearts. So, I love this because God told me one time, um, to the extent that you give me your heart is the extent that you'll be able to give your husband your heart. To the extent that you give me your body is the extent that you'll be able to give your husband your body. And right, it, when I get married, my body doesn't belong to me. Um, my life doesn't belong to me. He's, he's actually my king under the Lord. And that doesn't, that's just a place of order. That's a place of joy. It's not, it doesn't mean he's better than me. There's all this weirdo stuff or attached around that, but you know, hallelujah. <laughs> um, I, and, and actually, but see the only safe place for me in that is if he's under the Lord, because if he's following whatever, he can lead me into hell. And, and actually, and God will be very jealous in certain situations like that when a man is, um, something in him is destroying a woman and he will grab that woman and rip her out of scenarios if it's destroying her. And I'm going to do something um, different on that about the spirit of jealousy. But in this video, we're talking about having a prepared heart. So preparing our hearts when we're married, even wh at whatever level we are, we, uh, you know, some, but preparing our hearts in position. So the way that I cultivate honor and humility before the Lord is the way that I'm going to treat other people. The way that I treat other people is actually a reflection of really my relationship with him. Um, here's another, oh, I should have done this on the, anyway, um, let's just say this. Uh, God wants us to experience value. He wants everywhere we go, we have opportunity to keep him in proper value, which is really valuing myself and honoring myself, because it's only under him that I'm experiencing the flow of um, the greatness of who he is and the honor of who he made me to be. It's only under position with him. Um, and then from that place, then I can honor everyone. Uh, we honor people in little ways by not being too quick not being so focused on stuff that I miss the opportunity of a relationship right in front of me. Um, we honor people with finances. So, um, uh, and we honor all people. We don't honor, we honor positions at a different place, but we honor all people. So there is a positioning of honor where I honor kings and authority. Um, I honor their position, but I also honor that they are made in the image and likeness of God. So I also honor all men, but I honor their position. How do I honor their position? I drive the speed limit. I honor their position by, um, you know, I love not in word, but in deed and truth. So there are things that I can, ways that I can cultivate a position of honor um, for different levels and different places of authority. So that was, um, I don't know why that flew out of my mouth. Maybe because today I'm driving on the freeway and, you know, there's, there's a, you know, I'm not, I don't even really feel it much anymore, but, um, a lot, I'm like, Lord, what's the speed limit? I can't look at anybody else to know how to honor authority around me because a lot of people are doing whatever they want. And the only way that I can be positioned in proper honor of those that he set in authority over me is I honor them. There are other times, there's a, a certain particular instance right now, I'm gonna share a different video about just my story about kind of physical healing and some other things because there are other things that I can't honor. I, I can't honor evil. I honor the authority, I honor, but if my, if my um, integrity before the Lord is I can't do that, sir. And the Lord's spoken to me very clearly, like, I, I can't follow that rule. Now, that means that I'm submitted in my heart, but I, I'm not obedient in that area. And that's okay. The Lord's, because I, I have to bend to faith, not fear. I have to bend to the word of God, not the spirit of this world. He said, don't walk in the way with his people. Don't, don't say a confederacy to everyone who's saying a confederacy. Don't fear their fear, but sanctify the Lord God in your heart and let him be your fear, let him be your... So, so there are certain things that I 
that my my I have to walk it. We each have to walk in our own faith, of our own integrity before the Lord. That's that's just the honest the honest positioning, and it's not my place to say about anyone else. But my humble I humbly walk before my God with His place in proper position. That that means I don't bend to certain things. That means I can't I don't do certain things. And and whatever the consequences are, then I leave that up to the Lord. Um, but I have to. But but that's a place that I honor Him. All right. So, the why is this so important for marriage and for cultivating that? Because my King is going to live inside of my husband. He lives inside of my husband. So if I'm yielded to my King, Lord Jesus, then it's going to be a lot easier for me to yield to the Lord Jesus in my husband. And actually, I'm going to revere my husband and the position that God's placed in me that even if something is something is goofy or some you know he then I'm going to then if I have him as king in my heart already God is going to give me a solution in that moment to speak life over my husband and speak who he really is and give me strategies of how to come underneath my husband and love him up in that place or love him out or minister to him in the ways that only God knows how to minister to my husband God made my husband, so God wants to form in me a place that I can hear his voice and that I'm honoring him, so that when I'm positioned in marriage, then I'm going to be able to hear from him. He's going to give me strategies. He's going to, he's going to just move me and help me do things that are going to minister to my husband. It's going to be amazing. So, um, But that starts now, that I cultivate who I am, before my Father and before the Lord Jesus with the Holy Spirit leading me. And then that puts me in position to be connected with the King that God wants me to be connected with. Otherwise, I'm out of order and I'm not going to be able to honor Him. And you know what? That's sad. God has so much... God loves us. Like, He... And... He never wants anything that I would do or that would be in me to have my husband or anyone for that matter, but especially not in the covenant of marriage, have him feel not valued. At that level of intimacy, like I can't actually, I can't, I, this is probably why God's kept me for so long. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of work to do myself. I got to come to a certain maturity level. But also like he knows what I, we can handle. Like, I just don't do well in atmospheres of strife. And um, I don't, I want to cultivate a place where no matter what is going on with my husband, that God will show me how to love him right there. And um, then we can overcome together. Because you know what? There's going to be times when I'm struggling and I'm going to, it's going to be important that my husband hears from the Lord for me. <laughs> so, but I want to be, I need to be that person with him so that I can be that for my husband, so that God can bring me a man who's already cultivating that and being that for me. And um, I think that's all I want to say. But, yeah, that's all for that. But just about preparing our hearts. And it doesn't matter where we start at. We can always say right now, right now. Today is the day of salvation right now. Right now. <laughs> All right. God bless.